But the reality is things, you need the bad and the good. You need the balance. And we've, we're losing the balance. So without light, there is no dark. Without pain, there is no you know, joy or whatever. Hollywood is just targeting the positive as much as possible over and over and over again. And so that means it's going to pursue social things that can, and it's not just Hollywood, it's, it's big tech, it's the media. This is why the right tends to get banned and the left tends to get overly promoted because the left takes that um, I, I, uh, entitled approach to things where everyone should feel good and be given everything they want all the time. If someone is hungry, they should be fed. And then the right takes a more realistic approach of sometimes there's no food and sometimes there's no medicine. Well, you got to ban those things. Those are, those are, those are, those are sad things. Hmm. Only promote the things that are, everyone feels good all the time. And that leads us down this path of, I guess, moral corruption or s social decay or something. Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know that they focus on the happy, but they certainly focus on the altruistic. That, that's, that's, yeah. that's what I mean yeah. to say. And the, and, the, and, the, and the right, this is where the moral inconsistency comes in. The left is 100% altruistic. If you need, you have moral priority. If you don't need, you, you're expendable and you're only more valuable to the extent that you satisfy the need. The right, but, but, the right says you need to hustle in a little selfishness in order to live. But not, not just that. What I mean to say is if someone is doing something, like we're, we're seeing this expansion with the um, like child sex change surgery and things like that. Yeah. If the child says they're a dragon, they're a dragon. Don't be mean to them. Affirm what yeah, they that want. Primacy of consciousness. Yeah you, right. yeah. you don't want to cause any discomfort. Exactly. You don't want to make them feel stressed. It's the primacy of emotions over reason, right? It's, it, it all goes down that, that binary road. And it's, and it's destructive. It's very destructive. Th that, that, that's, that's what because, I mean to say. Because people take, people take their emotions as primaries and your emotions aren't primaries. They're based on values that you've, you've evaluated something to be good or bad based on an accumulation of, you know, thinking or not thinking about it, and whether or not that emotion reflects reality is something you have to determine. You, should, you can't just take your emotion as a as a uh, as a given and as as a, um, a a metric for truth. You know, you know, it's interesting. I think church probably used to be the primary mode of influence for society. It's where mm -hmm. people would gather once a week and then share ideas. And then with the expansion of mass media, radio, et cetera, mm -hmm. the uh, primary driver of cultural influence and culture itself left moral structures and entered entertainment structures. I wonder if that's going to change. Do, do, like, In uh, what know, direction? I don't know. I don't know. I, it's, it's still very much so that um, Hollywood is a primary driver of influence. Mm -hmm. Mass media is. I think that may be the case, but I'm wondering if we'll see a shift. I, think, I think entertainment has always sort of been the delivery system for ethics uh, you know narratives have been are older than the church even for for yeah. for teaching and for moral platforms so uh, you know yeah even if it's not the church it could be the theater and you'd you'd learn you'd learn probably the same values watching uh uh all my sons arthur miller play or the crucible as going to church this this, this, is, this is a point that i brought up a, a couple weeks ago you know, people on the right, anti-woke people, whatever you know, want to describe them as, they like to complain about woke movies and woke shows, but I don't see them celebrating the inverse. I don't see them coming out being like, this is the movie, this is the movie. Captain America, for instance, every conservative in this country should have been cheering for it, buying multiple tickets. It's a story about a young man who wants to sacrifice for his country so much so that he tries to lie his way into the military then becomes Captain America who fights Nazis. I don't, I'm just like, you can complain about woke movies all day. Wasn't as much of a cultural issue when Captain America came out in 2011. We weren't quite having the, the same level of culture war that we're having now when the original Captain America came out. No, I, I get it. I'm just saying there needs to be a reminder of, hey, let's, that was pretty over the top into the in the direction of conservatives. That's why I love uh, my my Twitter is literally just me talking about awesome stuff from movies and television that I go. like because or, or like I post scenes from things that I enjoy because it is like I've because most of my job requires a lot of uh, it is complaining or it is at least in a, a, like analyzing what I'm seeing happening in mm. the industry and at the end of the day that's draining to me like that's it, it's important I do think it's important to talk about it most of the time it's less about the people and become 
becomes more about the ideas behind these discussions. We've been talking about Jonathan Majors uh, and what's going oh, yeah. on with him losing a lot of work right now because of without even being convicted. That's crazy. Of a of a crime. Wait, I'm I'm clueless. What, uh, what? Jonathan Majors was in Creed three. Do you know who Jonathan Majors is? He's yeah, a, he's uh, in Creed three. He's in uh, Ant Man. Ant Man. Well, he's well, a he's, new Marvel. He's Kang and he's Kang in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's a star on the rise, and he had an incident recently where he and a girlfriend had an altercation in a taxi cab uh and it's a whole story that basically boils down to toxic relationship he ends up getting arrested and in the time span of three weeks has lost almost every role he's been in except for the marvel role he lost an advertisement from the the u.s army which he was doing a bunch of ad campaigns for he was associated with the texas rangers they dropped him Jeez. and all of this stuff is going on and i'm like there's scumbags in hollywood all the you know there have always been bad people in these industries that don't seem to suffer the same consequences and especially not that fast i have my own opinions on whether i think he's guilty or not it doesn't matter because Would i wasn't there there, Would he hit her? And he, then... like, 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 apparently she reached for his phone and like he got scratched. There was no pictures of the scratches or anything, but she, when the, when the cops came the next day, like he called the cops because she passed out drunk. And then when they got there, basically the, what they're saying now is that she, they pressured her to file a complaint and uh, that's all hearsay. His lawyers are saying that, that they coached her. I can't verify whether that's true or not. It's not really the point. The point is that he hasn't been convicted of a crime yet. And they're destroying and, him. And there's an insane amount of backlash for something that in it's the end of the day is a personal problem that's, but I can't figure out why the, the New York district attorney is actually going after him so hard. Now two more women apparently have come forward. There are no names given for sure. that uh, saying he's guilty, but I couldn't figure out how something like this happens where he's been dropped by all these companies that fast. When you see a lot of similar cases in these industries mm -hmm. where it just doesn't feel like there's that much backlash that swiftly. Some people are bringing race into it. They're saying, why is Ezra Miller allowed to choke slam <laughs> women in Iceland? Yeah. But Jared, uh, John, Jonathan Majors gets in an incident that nobody can corroborate. Is he, is he a Republican? He's, I don't think, I don't know if he's a Republican. I have no, I have <laughs> no idea. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but like people, like some people floated that idea. I'm like, I don't, I, I don't well, think let, so. Let, let, let me ask you, I mean, with the, the videos you've put out, have you felt like there's a backlash in the industry or they're, they're, they're upset with you or? You know, I, 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 I think they're too smart to be open about it if, if they were upset with me. Um, but have you felt it? Does it I do feel something. I do feel, but it could be my paranoia, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm, I, 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 it's not like I was a closeted guy with my politics. I was always very open about what I thought. That's why it was sort of a relief to talk to somebody like Jake on the set because, <clears throat> excuse me, Jake McLaughlin, because yeah. he was sort of, you know, in my camp, he's a conservative, but it, you know, we, we can, there was a lot of things that we could agree on. You worked with David Boreanaz? Who? David Boreanaz. David Boreanaz. I don't mean Angel. Uh, Angel. From Buffy. No. Buffy. No. Okay. And Why? Bones. Yeah. Bones. Yeah. And Why Seal, he's on Seal Team. Um, on I think Bones is bigger than Buffy. I don't know. I went to Buffy. <laughs> no, first. It, it is. Uh, that shows uh, really, really good too. Bones. Me. Another good example of a strong of a strong female character, and uh, an example where he's a, a religious <coughs> conservative. Basically, he's, a, he's, a, he's a yeah. He's not a religious conservative. He's he's a Hollywood religious conservative. <laughs> oh, that, like, is he? Is he? In re reality, I, have, I mean, I don't know what he is in real life. He posted a thing about Fauci at at in court, so he I can make assumptions oh, okay. from that. I don't know. Sounds like but, a little But uh, like, so you're saying Jake McLaughlin? He is somebody who's on the conservative side, but he's still working. I don't know if I just outed him and didn't mean to, but he's very open on the set about so, his perspective, like I am. Yeah. So uh, and so I don't I don't know if that's affecting me, but I suspect that it might, uh, mm. just because um, I know that. Uh, and I know that it's affected me in a good way in the sense that some of the folks have, you know, circled the wagons around me because they know what I'm like personally, and they're not going to believe the crap that some of these woke activists online throw at them. I know that a few of them have tried to get me fired from my convention circuit and, Unbelievable. and the convention, wow. the people who run the convention are like, Mark, we got your back. We know that this is all bullshit. You know, they accuse me of being a homophobe, a transphobe, a racist, uh, 
uh, was a, um, uh, Islamophobe, For, for, for laissez faire of, policy views yeah, or something? Because of ca- being pro capitalism. Yeah, be, be, because I'm pro capitalist, yeah, I'm pro individual. Um, but they're but they have a lot of those people have group think and they yeah. they la- they are the type of people. A lot of them are the ones that will label. If you have one belief, you likely have all of sure, these yeah. other beliefs, which degrades the idea of the individual, which is what you talk. They don't have that view. They don't have that view. Yeah, they don't have that view. Yeah, so. Uh, again, I don't. I don't know if it's affecting me. It could, but I feel like in 2014, I, I noticed a change coming over Twitter, uh, <laughs> where you could have before that you could have arguments, legitimate discussions with people that weren't vitriolic, even if you really differed with the person. But after 2014, the the atmosphere became very toxic, and people I, I noticed then being were very afraid to fight the toxicity, and I decided. Man, when a bully you know attacks you, you've got you got two choices: give in or fight. Mm-hmm. And at least if you if you lose the fight, you're going to gain the respect of that bully to a degree. And so I decided to fight the bully culture that's out there now. 